you don't have to be military at all. All you need is five dollars to join this credit union. The first thing with Penn Fed is there's no hard inquiry to join the credit union. With Navy Federal, of course, everybody's going to say that the flagship is their top card. With Penn Fed, it's the Pathfinder card. I have both cards. There is no annual fee on their top card. Dante Sledge is one of the few people I even trust in this credit card game. In this video, he's going to explain why PimpFed may be a better option than Navy Federal. I hope you guys are excited and ready to take some notes on today's interview. As you all, I'm sure, have been talking about Navy Federal for quite some time, but here's the deal. Today, you're going to learn why PimpFed is actually, it may be a better option than Navy Federal Credit Union. But again, you guys don't have to hear that from me. I want you guys to hear it from directly from the source. Uh, I've been watching this young man for quite some time and he's most definitely been delivering some gems not just about navy federal but also about pinfit as well too but either way i won't take up too much of his time let's go ahead and introduce you guys to mr dante sledge dante are you here with us today yes sir yes sir glad to be here calvin all right awesome awesome well first off man i want to say i appreciate you and all in your time taking away from your schedule your family uh just to do this particular interview man because listen you about to get some people riled up man because people listen it's all almost like uh, Beyonce's beehive when it comes to talking about Navy Federal. <laughs> um, yeah. but either way, <laughs> um, I've been, of course, watching some of your information, man. And I think that, you know, I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and talk about, you know, why you feel that PenFed is a better option. But before we go too deep into it, let's actually find out just a little bit about yourself, man. And so how did you find yourself even uh, in this situation where you're learning about credit cards and credit unions and stuff like that in general? This is a long story. I mean, I'm going to cut it short as possible. Possible. All right. Uh, a long time ago, I'm one of those people. I'm a, I'm a regular, ordinary person. I, I didn't learn about credit cards. I didn't learn about credit scoring going up, and uh, I screwed up all of that stuff. I brought myself to YouTube in order to show people that when you fall down, you can get back up. That's right. I started off with uh, when I re when I could remember my first credit score. I had a 760. I screwed it up to where I was in the 400s. I'm back right now over 740 on all credit bills. So this is why I'm bringing this to uh, to YouTube right now. You touched on a major point just now is a lot of times we start at a certain score. But what you're saying is that, hey, we've all been there, right? We've made mistakes and, you know, whether we were younger, whether we didn't know what we were doing and, you know, but you can most definitely bounce right back. And not just that, because we'll get into how you did a major comeback. And then, of course, congratulations on getting your 32, your 32nd credit card. Yes, <laughs> but we'll dive into that most definitely a little bit later inside the interview. But let's go straight into it, man. I know why people are here. Let's go straight into it. So now, why, in your opinion, why do you feel that PenFed is a better option or could be a better option uh, than Navy Federal? Well, I'm going to speak from what I'm a, what I specialize in, and that's credit cards. The first thing with PenFed is there's no hard inquiry to join the credit union, unlike Navy Federal. So if you're if you're with Navy Federal and you've been with them for a while, you apply for a credit card, they're going to give you another hard inquiry just to get that credit card. Whereas with PenFed, you didn't get the hard inquiry in the beginning. You're only going to get it when you apply for your first credit card. And even after that, you have 30, 30 more days to apply for more products, whether it be a HELOC, personal line of credit, another credit card, that's all on one inquiry. So that's one reason why I like um, PenFed. Now I'm not going to go all the way on the olive branch and say that PenFed is so much greater than Navy Federal because Navy Federal has great cards. Yeah. They have great interest rates, <laughs> you know, whether you're talking about mortgages yeah. or I don't have a mortgage or all along with them, but they have great interest rates. I've looked at them. Both credit unions will help you with auto insurance, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Health insurance, accidental death, death insurance. But here's one thing that I can tell you about PenFed. With PenFed, I'm looking at the two top cards. With Navy Federal, of course, everybody's gonna say that the flagship is their top card. With PenFed, it's the Pathfinder card. Mm. They're both travel cards, right? With uh, with uh, the, the flagship, I have both cards. Okay. The flagship card, you get three points per dollar for travel. Okay. The Pathfinder card, you get four points per dollar for travel. Mm. You have a higher sign up bonus on the Pathfinder card. Mm. And not only that, here, here's the superpower of PenFed. Yeah. If you're former military or current military, or you just have an honors advantage checking account, 
there is no annual fee on their top car, mm. right? <laughs> the, the annual fee is $95. It's automatically waived wow. just for you having this checking account. And there's nothing special about a checking account. It's in a checking account that you keep five hundred dollars. You have you keep an average of five hundred dollars in, in a checking account if you can if you can manage that. Yeah, you're talking about a, a credit card that has uh, like I say, it's four point four dollar on travel, right? Mm-hmm. You get all the things that you would get with any other uh, high end or some some even some of the lower end uh, travel cards where you get free global entry, well global entry and TSA pre check credit, hundred dollar credit. Mm-hmm. You get a uh, priority pass lounge uh, access. But here's the thing. Like I say, it's a $95 car. Mm. You get a $100 uh, 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 travel credit annually with this car that washes the $95, even if you do not have the honors advantage checking account mm. or have military experience. Wow. Yeah. So that that's where, that's where I weigh them at. Like I say, I'm a credit card guy. So I'm looking at it from a credit card perspective. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. But no, I mean you hit on you hit on a couple things. One is that you know that annual fee they're waiving that, so that's automatically saving you money. Um, that travel credit, right? So now, how does that travel credit work? Is that something that you could just use for anything that's travel related, like Ubers or hotels or something like that? Well, it's um, it's, it's, it's basically for for flights, flights and hotels. They have their own travel portal, okay. like American Express has a travel portal and Chase have their travel portal. And the same thing with Navy Federal, you know, you want to use, if you want to use their points towards travel, you kind of use their travel portal, okay. right? But with the flagship card at the end of the day, you're still paying the $49 for the flagship card, okay. right? Gotcha. You have, uh, you, they also have uh, the power cap, the power cap rewards card that I also have. Just by being an honor advantage member, instead of getting 1.5% um, cash back, you're 2%. But it's just by having this checking account or being mil- or being military. And wow. here's a, and another superpower is you don't have to be military at all. All you need is five dollars to join this credit union. Wow. You open up the account with five dollar savings account and you have access to the credit union. Wow. That's huge. Because a lot yeah. of people, the biggest question that we that I always see is so many people still don't know how to get you know how to join um, you know navy federal outside of you know obviously having a you know a military connection military background, um, right. you know, or some you know something like that and then of course we know that there's ways that people have been doing all types of stuff to get inside of navy federal and listen you guys heard it directly from dante there are other credit unions out there similar to navy federal right and that are easier to join you know and they have strong credit you no know, cards as well too so what are, what do you think the average limits that people are kind of seeing because we know of course we know uh, navy federal seems to be the, the house of high limits everyone keeps saying but you say hey listen Pinfed got some juice too <laughs> yeah very okay on my very first day of membership with Pinfed, yeah. i applied for the power cash card because I, I recently got the pathfinder card recently okay. but i have the power cash card for maybe two years now okay the very first day that I that I joined the credit union, I applied for it. Got a twenty five thousand dollar limit. Wow, day yeah. one. Day one. See, <laughs> day one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. And we talk. We're not talking about an eight hundred credit score. Right. You know, we're not talking about an eight fifty credit score. At that time, I might have been low seven hundreds or yeah. somewhere around seven hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. Wow. That's reasonable. That honestly, that's reasonable. that's reasonable and that's realistic. See, that's real because see, that's that's what people are looking for. And a lot, another thing, people are always talking about higher limits and things of that sort. But I keep telling people, listen, are you ready for that? Right? <laughs> are you ready for that? Because sometimes people have had, you know, a five thousand dollar limit, a five hundred dollar limit, you know, a three hundred dollar limit, but they want a higher limit. It's like, listen, you got to make sure that you can control that, you know, as well. So, man, thanks for sharing that part as well, too. So now let's go into the next piece. Is now when we talked, when we first talked, you were just at about 30 credit cards. Now you just got your 30 second credit card. So now, how did you acquire these cards and how do you manage them? Okay. Uh, have you ever heard of an app called uh, Max Rewards? I, you know, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that because we literally, I just talked to uh, a good friend of mine and we did a video. And of course, she mentioned that as well, too. That was my first time hearing about that. Uh, but she mentioned that as well, too. So, maxrewards.com. So, yeah. So now, is that that's essentially how you manage it? That's essentially how I manage it. Well, there's, there's uh, a few cards that I'm going to always have on me at all times. I'm, all, I'm always going to have my American Express Gold card on it because it's a food card. You get the majority of your points from food. 
So that's a that's a large expense for probably everyone, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I always have I'm always going to have that card on me, and there's certain cards that I'm never going to carry. I'm never going to carry my American Express Platinum card unless I'm traveling, right? Mm. Because that's that's one way I think of things. Yeah. Uh, the the Navy Federal flagship card is two points on everything, right? There's three points on travel, but two points on everything. So I always have that card because yeah. if I, if I run into something that I can't get points on, yeah. there's always that card. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's always that card, so I can get two points per dollar on anything that I'm spending on. But with Max Rewards, it tells you which card to use where to maximize points, and it's a very easy app. You just basically just sign into it, sign into your accounts, and all your co- all your cards load into it. So wow. Wow, yeah. man, that's amazing, man. You know, uh, listen, listen, you guys heard it from another credit card expert himself. He says, listen, if you have, you know, X amount of cards, you guys need to strongly consider using Max Rewards. Listen, they're going to start paying me to talk to talk about them now. <laughs> but <laughs> but no, I mean, it's amazing that something's even out there. And I'm sure some other apps out there as well, too, that's similar, yeah. uh, that's helping people kind of navigate, you know, through this process. Because I'm sure people are like, man, OK, I'm going to the grocery store. Which car should I use? I'm about to travel, go out the country. Which car should I use? Um, you know so and and again that just shows you how to truly maximize what you already have so that's amazing man that's amazing so what are your favorite cars like what are you like your top three cars that you would say your favorite out of 32. <laughs> <laughs> all right wait a minute. i want to go back and touch back on that last time of one, yeah, absolutely. one quick second okay there's a card called the the curve credit card mm. a lot of people probably have never heard of it yeah it's what it what this card essentially does it can host any MasterCard or Discover card. It can't do Visa or or American Express, but it can host any MasterCard or Discover card. It's mm. a credit card itself that you load credit cards onto. Mm. <laughs> right? So you what? <laughs> right, yeah. It's a credit card itself. I have, I have a video up about it. Okay. But you, okay. you load you load the, your credit cards onto the curve card. Yeah. And like I say, any MasterCard or Discover card. Yeah. Now you're familiar with the built MasterCard? Yep. Well, the built MasterCard, you know, they have what they call rent day. That's right. On the first of every month, all their points are elevated and doubled, mm-hmm. right? Yep. With the curve card, they have this thing called go back in time, mm-hmm. where you can charge on any of those cards that you have loaded on there yeah. and essentially move them to another date and time on another card. What? So here's your gym. Yeah. You get the built card. Yeah. You get the curve card. Mm. You load your MasterCard and Discover cards onto that one. So when you run into a situation when you when you you're buying dinner on the 20th of the month or right. you're buying you at you out, you know, at a restaurant on the 16th of the month. Yeah. You can go into the Curb app and take that charge and move it to the first of the month on the built card mm-hmm. and double your points. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's it's one thing a lot of people don't know a lot of people don't know about. Now listen, I've never heard that. So is that Curb? You said it's like C U R V E? C U R V E. Wow. C U R V E. Listen, Dante giving y'all the game today. Because see, listen, these are the types of things that people have to research. You know what I mean? Yes. And so for you to just you know narrow that down and say, listen, guys, you can you know, have it all into one. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. And that, and that keeps you from carrying so many cards. It's one card that holds all these other cards. Right, right. Man, that's huge. That is huge. Okay. That's what's up. So now, okay, all right. So now I'm assuming. So is that one of your favorite cars then, or is that in the in the top three? Yeah, yeah, it's in, it's in the top three. It's in the top three. Uh, American Express Gold Car, of course, because like I say, you, you have to eat, right? And I, and I, it's probably my most. I won't, I won't even say that it's my favorite car, but it's definitely my most used car. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. And then my favorite card um, is probably, believe it or not, the Hilton Aspire card. The reason the Hilton Aspire card is one of my favorite cards is because first of all, it gives you automatic Hilton diamond status. Mm. There's no other credit card or hotel card or travel card that gives you top level status of any hotel or airline or airline chain, except for the Hilton Aspire card. And on top of that, you get a $250 annual airline credit which if you watch my if you watch uh, one of the videos on my channel you will see how you can use that that credit yeah. 
yeah. for airline tickets. It's supposed to be for incidentals, but you can use it to, to actually purchase airline tickets. Uh, and you also get a $250 annual uh, re, uh, resort credit at any Hilton property. Wow. Okay. Wait. Well, wait. Uh, one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> There's also a free night certificate. So okay. a, a, another thing is a lot of the hotel um, credit cards, you can, mm. they might give you a free night certificate, but it's capped. Mm. With the, with the Aspire card, if you want to stay at the Waldorf Astoria and that hotel is not sold out, you can stay there. You want to stay at the Conrad, the LXR. Wow. $1,500 a night room, $800 a night room, depending on the time of year. Yeah. yeah. You can book it with that free night certificate. So, yeah, yeah. that's why this is my favorite card. And then, of course, the American Express Platinum card. Everybody know about that card, so I don't really got to get all into it. <laughs> but no, man, that's that, listen, that's absolutely amazing. And listen, because I've been seeing y'all travel, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, hey, that's my whole that's that that's that's majority of my game with credit cards. You know, yeah. um, if you if if you if you look at my video, you see a, a, a beginning of a lot of them. I tell people, man, it, first of all, I don't recommend everybody to get these many credit cards. Right, right. Gotcha. I do not recommend it. And second thing is, if you can't afford it, you can't af cannot afford it. Do not charge anything that you would not pay for regularly. Right. You know, if yeah. it's not in your normal spending, do not do it. Yeah. But if you, if it is in your normal spending, I recommend that you put it on a credit card mm. so you can get the points and you can travel for free just like I do. Because like I say, I'm just a regular, ordinary person. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing anything special out here. I'll, I'll apply for credit cards. I get them. I hit the sign up bonus because the sign up bonus is very important. You're yeah. never going to make as many points using the card in the first two years, probably, as you would as hitting a sign up bonus. So, mm. yeah, and that's how basically we travel for free credit card sign up bonuses, free night certificates. Uh, you get airline, you, you may get an airline card and get free check bags to get on there. Yeah. yeah, and then you also have to mix in your cashback cards because mm -hmm. when you go on a trip, you can't eat points and miles. You can't buy excursion with points and miles. You can't pay for souvenirs for points and miles. Right. Wow. <laughs> you yeah. Know? yeah. Wow. So I mix in cashback as well. That's what's up, man. Listen, you most definitely have been maximizing. <laughs> nah, uh, I try my best. <laughs> That's for sure, man. That's for sure. Listen, I hope you guys, are, again, are, are taking advantage of these gems that he's dropping because, you know, so many people have questions about different types of credit cards and what they can do with them. And, and the way you just broke that down, uh, because I'm sure some of these people are considering some of these cards that you're mentioning. And, you know, but it, but again, like you hit on a, a very good point. You said, listen, don't just don't charge something that you wouldn't normally charge. See, that takes discipline because yeah. people aren't used to having these higher limits. And man, when you're traveling, it's like, man, I want to go from I want to get this type of room. I want to go on this excursion. Right. You know, right. but at the same time, you got to know which car to use, because like you said, you can't eat the miles. Right. <laughs> so and, and you're using those particular cars for different types of situations, man. So uh, great. Most definitely some takeaways on that one for sure. So now now let's go into um, how you've been truly maximizing your American Express Platinum card. Let's get into that. So now let's go into how you've been getting airline tickets with your American Express Platinum. <laughs> All right. Now this goes for the American Express Platinum and, and also the Hilton Aspire card. Okay. The American Express Platinum has a $200 airline uh, credit, mm. right? Is that per year now, or is it like, it's how per that... year? Okay. It's per year. Okay. Because you got to keep in mind, this card has a $695 annual fee. Mm. Right? Right. right. So, and if, if I'll, I'll tell anybody, if you travel a lot, Look at that annual fee with a grain of salt. Yeah. Yes, it's six hundred and ninety-five dollars. But mm -hmm. you got to think about what you get out of this six hundred and ninety-five dollars. Right. When you go to the airport, American Express has the largest airport network of any credit card issuer. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Domestically, Chase has one. One has one airport lounge. Capital One has one airport lounge. Mm -hmm. American Express has, I believe, there's fourteen Centurion lounges. They have escape lounges. They have Plaza Premium lounges. You have Priority Pass lounges. <laughs> There's so many lounges you can get in with American Express, right? Yeah. So when you go to an airport lounge, 
it would change the entire experience of the stress of going traveling, of <laughs> really? going to the airport, you know, yeah. eating and drinking for free in these lounges, you know. Yeah, sometimes sometimes they can be crowded. Mm. But if you say for instance you're flying Delta, yeah. because you have the American Express Platinum Car, you go to a Centurion Lounge or the Delta Sky Club. Right. So you have your choice of different things to go to. Really? Didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. My my favorite credit of the American Express Platinum card is the five hotels and resorts credit. That's also okay. a two hundred dollar credit with um specific um they're they're higher end hotels, but okay. but when you use this credit, you get a twelve o'clock, you got a twelve PM um check in. Okay. Four PM checkout. You get a hundred dollar credit uh, to use in in these uh, properties. Mm. You get free you you get free breakfast for two, right? If, because if you go with two, you want to make sure both people are on the reservation. <laughs> because if not, they're just going to give it to to you for one right. person. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. So you want to make sure even if you go by yourself, put two people on the reservation, <laughs> right? Because you still will have that credit. Wow. Right. That's yeah. And then. You have the, uh, a lot of people laugh about the Walmart Plus credit, but mm. I'm gonna tell you something about this Walmart Plus credit. Tell us. You get 10 cent off gas, right? <laughs> you get 10 cent off gas at Exxon, Mobil, wow. and Walmart, right? Wow. So the the way that I maximize that is, yeah. I use a card that gives points for gas, mm. right? Yeah. Whatever card you, and then I use the Walmart Plus in order to take the 10 cent off. So you're getting the points and the cash back off of the off of the gas. Man. Right. Yeah. See? see? And uh, you know what I like about the, you know what I like about that? These are things that you're gonna get anyway. You're already gonna right. use gas. You're already gonna you're get gas. Gonna use gas. Right? right. And then right. when you touched on that annual fee, yeah, it's higher than most, right? Right. But at the end of the day, if you're maximizing that and you're using that, I mean, just the airline ticket alone, man. And then, of course, with the lounges and things of that sort, that makes the traveling process a lot easier than, man, because, listen, I'm I'm a kid dodger. I'm trying to dodge some everybody else's kids, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> uh, that most yeah. definitely makes it a lot easier for sure, man. So, listen, guys, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm finding the sources, you know, for you all, so you all can just truly take advantage of this information. Because some people have, listen, Dante and I know people. Some people got this card and they're not using it right. They're complaining about it, or whatever the case may be. Or you guys probably didn't know, didn't know, you know. So, but that is huge because I'm sure some of you all have been comparing this card to other cards on that list. So, listen, man, we most definitely appreciate you uh, breaking that down. So, Dante. <clears throat> If we were looking to learn more about, um, you know, just like uh, your your channel and some of the other videos that you have, I know, of course, I, I, I put up here, you know, make sure you guys go ahead and then follow uh, as well. Subscribe to Dante uh, on YouTube. But is there any other free resources or anything like that that you have access to? So right now, I'm just doing YouTube. Okay. I'm going to branch off into some other things from there. Yeah. We're here. For, listen, we're here. Keep me posted, okay? <laughs> no, absolutely, Calvin. <laughs> absolutely. Listen, because we, yeah. we most definitely love supporting channels like yours, man, because yeah. um, it's honestly people like you that's given uh, the gems, that's given the delivery, that's given the game. And, you know, a lot of people, again, they have aspirations to get these types of cards and to learn about these types of things. So, man, that is honestly huge, man. Before we leave out of here, uh, what are some things that you would, uh, just some words of advice for someone who is literally, just, they're rebuilding their credit right now and they're just, they're like, man, I can't see the light right now. I can't see myself going from uh, not having the best credit score to getting, you know, X amount of credit cards. What word of advice would you leave with them? Be patient, learn as much as you can, know about know about the credit if you want to get into credit cards know about the credit card game before you get into it That's right. don't don't make the mistake i made in the beginning and just getting in and use it as if that their money was my money you know learn about this game understand that you don't want to the credit card issuers make money every time you swipe that card you do not want to pay interest to them mm. like i say before if you can't afford it you can't afford it don't yeah. charge it if you can't afford it use it as if it's a debit card and you will see your credit grow as you manage your credit wisely. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to Don Chase channel. Get that, you know, get that information. You know, of course, get these gems he's dropping. He's only going to keep growing, guys. You know, and, and as he keeps learning, we're most definitely going to be learning with you as well. Thanks again, Dante. Thanks, Calvin.